Well, today, I'm not in a remote part of Alaska. Lots of vehicles and people out on this lake today, but I thought it would be fun to see what we can pull out of here. And if this were a survival situation, see what I can catch and then cook. I'm just digging through this hole here. It's about two feet of ice, so it's a lot of work. I'm still out of breath. Oh, there it is. Got one on. Not sure what it is. Only got four pound test line. Got to ease it up in here. Okay, there it is. Here we go. Get it out. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a Sobrani. Look at that. Got us a live wild Sobrani right there. You can tell by the markings on this one, this is a Balkan Sobrani. It's a myth that Sobranis can only be found certain times of the year. They're not necessarily a seasonal creature. And I've discovered they can be found at almost any depth in any body of water. It really depends on what they're foraging on. Water temperature. Uh, water clarity factors like that so don't be afraid to search around or think that there are certain places that you strictly won't find sobranis because they will surprise you so I have a tool that will crack the shell here of this uh, Balkan sobrani my very first one I'm pretty excited I've caught arctic sobrani before and northern sobrani um, but uh, I've heard of the Canuck Sobrani, but not many of them are seen this far west of the Yukon. Um, also, there is the, uh, or was, the Bristol Bay Sobrani and also the North Slope Sobrani, both of which are extinct. So I'm really excited to, uh, to crack this open and cook it, and we'll see what it's like. Love that sound. don't hear a rush of air and it's possible that uh, your Sobrani mm, may not be in the best condition and you may not want to cook it. Uh, this one smells amazing. Let's see what it looks inside there. There's some, some of the inner layers of tissue and whatnot. And you can see all the different colors of the Sobrani flesh there. Looks amazing. Smells amazing too. So my favorite method of cooking sobranis involves using a small portable stove such as this one. Um, it takes a bit to uh, work at some of the, the meat inside. Thankfully, this one doesn't have a lot of bones in it, so I think we're in pretty good shape there. That's often a concern. Um, sometimes these also need to be dried a bit, but this one looks like it's uh, going to be okay to cook right away. So, in a survival situation, that's always, always a great thing. So I just stuff it in here a layer at a time here and. We smidge more, cap it off. Okay, so that's uh, that's a good pack there in my little portable stove. And we'll return this to its shell. Try to keep the meat fresh. Let's see if my ancient Zippo. Oh yeah, that 
that's fantastic. Definitely worth all the trouble. So there you have it. Catching and cooking a Balkan Sobrani in one of my portable stoves using an old Zippo I rescued. Hopefully you never find yourself in a survival situation, but if you do, just know that there are various uh, Sobranis around. If you have the right tools, you can survive. Thanks for watching, and I hope you know God's love, joy, and peace today. Yes, I'm baby. Yes, I'm